Children of the world, this Halloween my friends and I have created a very special chocolate bar for you. When you're out trick-or-treating, watch out for it. It's particularly squishy, but remember, eat it straight away so that none of those pesky adults get hold of it. What if I told you we had a very grand guest in today? A grand high witch sort of guest? Grab yourself a cup of tea, a suspiciously green bar of chocolate and settle in. About witches, something you need to know. Witches in stories wear silly hats and cloaks and they ride on broomsticks. But in real life, witches do not look like this. Witches wear ordinary clothes, they look like ordinary people and this is why they are so hard to catch. And witches hate children. I, myself, have had an encounter with a witch. She told me that she's planning to do away with several children this Halloween, so I must do something about it. So, Butte, I have a plan. Turn myself into the Grand High Witch, commit a crime whilst in disguise, and then poof, problem gone, Grand High Witch arrested. If you'd like to see how I do this, keep on watching. So, just to get us up to speed, first of all you saw me creating the base of her lovely pointy nose and chin with some silk clay. Second, you saw me attempting to apply bold cap number one. Bowl cap number one decided to split, so I had to get rid of bowl cap number one and put on bowl cap number two. You can see me here sticking down bowl cap number two with some prosthetic adhesive. Just stick all around the edges, press them down against your skin and bobs your uncle. You can now see me putting more of the skin adhesive on my nose and chin, letting it go clear and tacky and sticking on that nose and chin. Once those are securely attached, you can now see me just blending that nose and chin into my face with some good old latex and cotton wool. Just smooth it with a spatula and plenty of that latex so that it looks like it's seamlessly part of your skin. Above all else, for this plan to work, people must not know that I am not the Grand High Witch. Once the nose and chin are suitably blended into my face, it's time to create her lovely eyebrows. Now she's got quite bony brows, so I am just creating those with yet more latex and cotton wool. Just make sure you put plenty of latex onto that cotton wool so that you can sculpt it into that lovely bony eyebrow shape. Continue with the same technique to create the nice bony areas on her forehead. The Grand High Witch has some particularly gnarly knobbly skin going on on her cheeks, so to create that, you've guessed it, more latex, more cotton wool. Just put on a very thin layer, put some latex over it and then just push it around with your spatula to create this nice knobbly gnarly texture. just smoothing more latex and cotton wool over that chin just to blend it further into the face and just to create those lovely jowly bits at the side of the chin. Now while we're creating those lovely long fleshy earlobes with yet more latex and cotton wool let's talk about what kind of crime we can commit as the Grand High Witch. I'm thinking maybe some kind of robbery that will be foiled just in time. Hmm what do you think?
while we are deciding, let's create some more jowls at the sides of the mouth with yet more latex and more cotton wool, just using the spatula to just create those lovely folds that she's got. As long as you put plenty of latex onto your cotton wool, it will be quite sculptable. Do the same under the nose. And then once all those areas of latex and cotton wool are dry, it's time to go on to the paint job. I'm using alcohol-based paints here, but you can use whatever you happen to have to hand. Water-based face paint, normal makeup, cream paint, whatever you happen to have. Just please do not use anything toxic on your skin. So no acrylic paints, no poster paints. In short, nothing that's not designed to go on the skin. So the first thing you want to do is to create a wash of red all over those prosthetic pieces. This will give a nice basis so that it helps them to blend into the rest of your skin tone. Then apply a sickly yellow wash over your cheeks. The Grand High Witch is a little rotten looking so she just does not have a nice even complexion. Now take any normal foundation and work that over all those areas whilst a little ghost floats around in the background behind you. Once your base layer is complete, it's time to start putting in the lovely myriad of colours that the Grand High Witch has in her skin tone. So start by going all over that bold cap with a nice red wash, the same as you did over all those latex and cotton wool areas. Do the same on your chest. Oh, and don't forget your neck. Now taking some water-based face paint in a lovely sickly browny yellow tone and just paint some nice texture and lines down the sides of those cheeks, onto those temples, onto that forehead. You basically want to make yourself look rotten to the core. You also want to use this same sickly browny yellow tone to create some contour and dimension. This ensures that all those witchy crevices and creases and wrinkles and features stand out even more. While you're at it, create some eye bags. It's so tiring being so evil, so the Grand High Witch has some pretty good eye bags. Now the Grand High Witch may be evil and she may spend most of her time plotting world domination, but she does like to make sure she wears her makeup. Her favourite is blue eyeshadow, so make sure you apply plenty of that blue eyeshadow all over that lid and blend, blend, blend. And then deepen that lovely smoky witchy eye with some purple. A little bit of black along those brow bones just to really emphasize those brows. And the same on the inner corners of the eye. Take that purple underneath the eye for extra glam witchy effect. Incidentally, I'm just using water-based face paints for this part. A little bit more of that shading, contouring and texturing. And the same on the chest. Don't forget the neck. Oh, and also, don't forget the ears. Painting in some nice big witchy nostrils with some black body paint. And now it's onto those beautiful, full red lips that she has. Again, using water-based face paint. But you can use lipstick if you prefer. Deepening up those eye bags with some deeper brown. 
and deepening up those furrows and creases on that evil forehead of hers. Every time you create one of these lines, make sure you blend it out well with either a big fluffy brush or a sponge. just finish off the look with some more of that texture and just using some foundation over the top of that to make it look as if it's under the skin and not painted on top. Now aside from adding some long black pointy witchy fingernails which incidentally are just acrylic nails painted with some black paint we are done really hope you enjoyed this tutorial but the question is did i manage to pull off the crime and get the witch arrested oh, of course i did were you ever in any doubt right all that remains for me to say is thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time <laughs>